Hi everyone, welcome back to Medi Plus Ibu. In this video, we'll be covering about the histology aspect of pregnancy. Um, so, we'll be covering about the cell junctions. So, there are various types of cell junctions, starting with the tight junctions. Tight junction are present on the apex um, of the cell, and it is usually also called as the zonula occludens. It is made up of the structural proteins, uh, the clodens and the occludens, and it serves the function of acting as a paracellular barrier that is preventing the uh, solute from uh, the paracellular movement that is between the cells. The below it we have the presence of the adherence junction. The adherence junction is also called as zonula adherence. Um, it is made up of the structural protein that is the catherin and it is calcium dependent that is an important thing to note uh, the function it acts as an anchor to the cell and connects the actin cytoskeleton of the adjacent cells the loss of catherins would lead to increased risk of metastasis so here we have the uh, adherence junction and this is the actin filaments which is uh, it connecting the uh, adjacent cells then we have below it the presence of desmosomes desmosomes are called spot desmosomes whereas adherence junction are called as belt desmosome uh, in licensing exam could come as an option maybe uh, between belt desmosome or spot desmosome but not high yield um, then we have macula it is also called as macula adherence the structural proteins of uh, desmosomes are composed of three different types that is the catherins uh, with, in which we have the presence of desmoclein the plaque proteins that is intracellular um, also called desmo uh, the sub the example is desmoplakin and the internal structure which we have in the structural protein of desmosome is the intermediate filament in epithelial cells it is the keratin and in cardiac cell it is desmin it again serves as the function of cell anchoring and the main component here is the intermediate filaments uh, an important pathology relevant to it is that pemphigus vulgaris that is the uh, desmosome connection has been lost or been busted uh, like the cell to cell junction breaks easily due to it and it is usually due to the autoantibodies against the desmoglein 1 or the desmoglein 3 component so these are the deep and superficial component of uh, the uh, catherins which we mentioned which was the extracellular component of the desmosome so if there are autoantibodies against uh, the catherin the desmoglein 1 or desmoglein 3 uh, then we could have a condition called as pemphigus vulgaris it presents in patient similar to this presentation here we could appreciate that the cell to cell junction has been lost and that is why the freckling can be seen on the skin uh, next moving towards the below desmosomes we have the presence of gap junctions so the gap junction uh, have the structural protein called as connexin or connexon uh, and the function it serves is that the electrical and chemical communication between cells basically the electrolyte or uh, chemical signaling between the cells is uh, done via the help of gap junctions below it we have the presence of hemidesmosomes hemidesmosomes are made up of the structural proteins called integrins and it also act as the function of cell anchoring and it connects the basal cell that is the base of the cell of the epithelial cell to the basement membrane so here we also need to look uh, what the basement membrane compose of and uh, what integrin is so integrin is basically the part of the basal lamina uh, it has collagen lamina and fibronectin and not to be confused with basement membrane basically basal lamina is a part of basement membrane although it is not same the basement membrane the thin layer is made up of the basal lamina that is superficial in and the other 
deeper structure which we have is the thick layer reticular lamina that is deep structure the thin layer is synthesized by epithelial cells cardiac cells and the schwann cells the basal lamina and the thick layer that is the reticular lamina is synthesized by the fibroblast uh, the important uh, pathology relevant to hemidesmosomes is the autoantibodies against to the hemidesmosomes that is uh, bolus pemphigoid it it is the reason that the connection between the basement membrane and the hemidesmosome is busted and this lead to condition called as bolus pemphigoid it is easy to remember as we know that uh, the hemidesmosomes are the basal segment which is attaching it to the basement membrane so if the hemidesmosome is busted so this would lead to the uh, bullet formation which in which uh, the cell to cell junction is not affected whereas in case of desmosomes the cell to cell junction is affected and that is why there is the freckling of the skin which we had seen in the patient so that is an important thing to remember that in hemidesmosome we would have the connection between the basement membrane and the hemidesmosome is lost or busted and that is leading to the formation of bullae and that condition is called as bullus pemphigoid whereas in case of desmosome we have the condition called pemphigus vulgaris whereas the connection between the cell to cell is lost um, so moving towards today's question uh, how it could present as a pregnancy related question that a 25 year old g2p1 12 weeks gestation she has increasing progesterone levels and uterine epithelium exhibits uh, increased expression of claudins and occludin. So in this scenario, we need to remember the structural proteins that are high yield uh, for the uh, gap junctions, the epithelial, the epithelial cell junctions. So which structure would most likely be uh, affected? So in this case, it would be the tight junctions as Claudins and occludins are the structural proteins uh, made up of uh, the tight junction. Other scenario would be like a similar uh, case presentation, but there is increased levels of connection. So what would be uh, increase in that case? So it would be gap junctions in that case. And similarly, we could have different structural proteins, which we need to remember and to associate them with the relevant epithelial cell junction so that is it for this video if you like the video please like share and subscribe and if you have any doubts let me know in the comments down below thank you